Uh, hi, so I'm Thomas Schneider for uh, SIVA, and I'm going to talk about the new feature we added to the NVM called switch per function. Uh, the idea is to control uh, different code generation in uh, function level and not in uh, uh, fine events. Uh, so there is already an option to do that in the NVM uh, with the approach of uh, function attribute. Uh, for example, you can add an attribute to the declaration of a function, uh, like the mean size here, uh, in order to get a different code generation of the function. But uh, we found it's a big disadvantage uh, of this approach that forced the user to modify the source code and therefore we can't use the same source code for different compilers or different targets. Uh, the solution we are uh, suggesting is to add a uh, control optimization in the function level to the command line. Uh, it's come to solve the idea of uh, no source code modification. Uh, it's pretty much easier to the user to configure what you want. And the example how to do it is just to add a switch uh, that gets the function that you want to modify and the switch itself you usually use when you work in the final. Uh, so how do we implement it? Uh, first step is basically to add a dedicated command line to do that, like I showed you in the previous uh, slide, the CXD switch per function. Uh, after that, we need to pass the command line string in order to understand which part is the function name and which part is the switch that uh, we want to affect uh, these functions. Uh, the third step is to map between the switch and to the attribute that already exists in the NVM. And uh, the fourth step is basically to add the attribute to the relevant functions and like, like that to get the same behavior like you add an attribute to the function. Uh, so a bit about how we implemented it. Uh, as I showed you before, we added the command line to the target info CDP, con CXD switch the function. Uh, the second step was to override the set target attribute uh, in order to pass the string following the CXD switch per function. As for the example before, to understand which part is the function, the full function, and which part is the uh, switch we want to uh, add to this function. Uh, the third and the most important part is basically a map. Uh, between a function and an attribute. Uh, this map can translate from the switch that you get in the command line to the attribute you want to add uh, to the function after that. And when we have this map, on, uh, the only thing that we need to do is to add the attribute on the relevant function and we get the same control flow as uh, we get from modifying the source code with this attribute. Uh, so after we did that, uh, we noticed that some switches don't have the corresponding attribute at all in an NVM. And uh, because we already can control it by switch in the fine event, we want also the option to control it in the function event. Uh, so in order, in order to solve that, we basically added corresponding attribute to the selected switches. Of course, not to all switches, but just to the one that we chose, and we think that are relevant, but basically it can be for any switch that you want. Uh, like that, uh, the switch per function mechanism uh, can now be used for all uh, these functions too. And uh, we found it uh, very important for our customers to be able to optimize uh, different functions in the same file uh, by different code generations. 
uh, a suggestion for future support. So uh, basically in the previous slide, we found the connection between the switch and the attribute itself. So uh, in order to get an easier way to maintain it, uh, we want to suggest uh, uh, one database uh, that you add a switch, and, and it's uh, basically uh, generate also a switch and also an attribute, and how to do the map uh, automatically between them. And like that, you need to modify the NVM source code just in one case, and not to add also a switch, also an attribute, and also a map, and to touch basically in three cases. And uh, the, for summary, uh, I basically talked about uh, the different advantages of the approach of adding a uh, function's attribute, which is uh, force you to uh, update and modify the source code. Uh, I suggest a solution from switch per function to handle this problem. Uh, I showed uh, the switch per functions uh, implementation uh, we do in Siva. And uh, I showed how we can expand the range of switches that the feature can be relevant for. And I suggest uh, how we can do it, uh, how we can uh, expand the support of the, this feature and how it will be easier to maintain it. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>